And welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can rig a character with Duik. Rigging a character with Duik is super important, especially if you're into character animation. I will show you how you can rig a character and that will be my way of doing it. You can download the free vector file and you can practice from there. I recommend using FreePick. You have a bunch of free vector files here that you can download. One thing I would recommend is when you're just starting out with rigging and Duik, uh, try to find a more simple character design. Don't go uh, with something like this. Uh, that's a bit more complex. I would recommend you start with like a more flat character like this one uh, or this one. And actually, we're going to use this one for uh, for the tutorial today. I'm going to add the link in the description below if you want to download this one and practice uh, rigging a character with me. Open your character in Adobe Illustrator and our first step would be to prepare this character for rigging. So we need to separate the body parts and name them properly. And then we are going to import the character into After Effects. We are going to be rigging this one, so this option. So you can delete all the other layers because you won't need them. Let's look at our layers. I'm going to hold control and delete these two. There you go. Yes. Uh, great. So now let's open our character. What? Let's see what, what we have here. Inside this group, I can see the face. I can see that the arms and the body are uh, on the same layer. And I can also see that the legs are on uh, just like on the same layer, uh, which is not ideal for animation. We'll need to separate these layers. We'll need to have the hand on a separate layer, the forearm uh, on a separate layer, the arm on a separate layer, the body, etc. So let's start doing that. I'm going to click on the group and here from the hamburger menu, click release two layers sequence. Now select these three, bring them down here. You can delete uh, these objects, so the first one. Uh, now I'm going to open up the, the face layer, the group, and I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm going to hold these two and bring them up here. I'm going to delete this one and same here. OK, these are all the layers inside the face. Bring them up here. I'm going to delete this one and same here. Uh, this is a group again. I would like to separate it. Great. Awesome. That's the face, the ears, that's the neck, I believe. Great. So now let's do the same thing with the body. Release two layer sequence. Move these here. Delete this one. What do we have here? So we have the body. Okay, the right arm and the left arm. So as I mentioned, we'll need to rig these arms and we'll need to have the hand, the forearm and the arm on a separate layer. Uh, that won't do uh, because uh, otherwise, if we import that into After Effects, we'll move the arm as one element and we'll need it to bend uh, in, in order to be able to rig it. So I am going to repeat the same process here, separating the forearm, the arm and the hand. And I'm going to speed this up, but essentially I'm going to repeat the same process uh, with the other body parts. Just one quick thing that I noticed here, the sock, the sock in this design needs to be parented to the calf and not uh, the shoe. So just grab this layer and move it here. It needs to be above here and same here. So this sock needs to be inside the calf layer here. Great, move it down here. So we have the shoe and the shoe needs to be above the calf. You can name your layers from here, uh, but I would I typically like to name mine in uh, After Effects because it's easier. Uh, there is like a, uh, a better shortcut for that. So let me just um, uh, save this. Uh, so I'm gonna name this character. Uh, make sure you save uh, as type is Adobe Illustrator, not EPS, PDF or the rest because otherwise you have problems 
later on uh, in After Effects. So great. So uh, here's my character. Now let me open a new project in After Effects. When you open your project, right click here, import file and find your file. Okay, here is my file. Import as, make sure it's composition between layer sizes and click import. Great. I'm going to open this composition. Okay. Uh, my first step always is to click Control A, select all the elements and click on this icon here. My next step is always to check on the bottom left corner to see if there are any empty layers. There aren't any empty layers here, so that's great. And the third thing I would like to do would be to change the composition size uh, to, let's say, um, 500 to 500 pixels. So it's a square composition. Great, let me move this guy here and we are going to start. My next step is to click enter and rename all these layers. That would be hair. I'm going to click enter again. That's hair, side, side hair, side hair, enter, side hair. And I'm going to speed this up uh, while I rename all these layers. Okay, I'm ready. I just renamed all my layers and now it's time to start parenting these layers and organizing my After Effects file. Uh, I'm selecting everything from like what we have here, hair, side hair, eyebrow, mouth, eyes, nose, all these should be parented to the head. The ears should be parented to the head and for this tutorial we won't need any of these. I'm just going to exclude the heads for now and I'm going to click on this layer so I can hide them and then click on this one. Uh, great, so the head should be parented to the neck. The neck is parented to the body and I will hide the neck. Uh, now, let me zoom in. Um, the hand should be parented to the forearm, the forearm to the arm and the arm to the body. Same here, hand should be parented to the forearm, the forearm to the arm and the arm to the body. Now, the shoe, uh, would be parented to the calf, the calf would be parented to the tie, the tie would be parented to the body. And same here, calf, tie, okay? Uh, so, the shoe needs to be parented to the calf, the calf to the, the calf to the tie, uh, the tie to the body and the pelvis to the body. And I'm gonna hide this one. All right, so now let's start rigging. So if you don't have Duik installed, you, uh, you can download it from uh, their uh, website. It's free. When you download it, you need to install it. There are instructions that you can follow. And then once you do that, you should be able to open Windows and see your Duik here at the bottom. Uh, so when you do that, you should be able to see the panel. You need to click on this icon. Uh, and you see the options for rigging. Our first step when we start to rig a character would be to change the anchor point and make sure they're rotating properly. One thing that I'm noticing right away is that when I zoom in, this is really pixelated and uh, I can just quickly fix that by scaling this character a bit more so we can see everything better. And this is a very small composition. This is why it happens, but it's okay. First, we are going to start with the hand. I'm going to isolate it by clicking on this little uh, dot here. I'm gonna click Y on my keyboard or this icon over there. And I'm gonna move the anchor point, I think right here. So um, this is, I'm yet not sure if that's the, that's the place where this anchor point should be. So I'm going to isolate the forearm as well. And I'm gonna click R on my keyboard and I'm going to start rotating the hand so that I can see if the anchor point is uh, where it is supposed to be and right away I see that it is not because uh, do you see that there is like a little gap here when I rotate um, the, the hand so uh, I can do th two things I can either move the anchor point somewhere around here or I can create an extra element for now I will uh, try it with the uh, anchor point yeah well uh, it needs to be adjusted a bit more uh, there is another trick uh, that I can tell you in a in a in a minute but I think this one is fine okay I'm gonna click on the forearm 
and again i'm gonna move the anchor point i think somewhere around here okay uh, here's a trick that i mentioned if you're not sure where your anchor point should be uh, you can draw a simple circle so like this let me show you uh, let me remove the stroke the fill can be yes like this make sure the anchor point of your circle is at the center if you don't have the anchor point over um, you can do that with uh, this same tool uh, but for now yeah I'm gonna uh, yeah do it like that if you don't know where your anchor point should be you can just simply create a circle like mine you can change the color you can make sure the anchor point of the circle is at the center and then you can parent the forearm to the circle the circle to the arm and when you rotate it this is where your anchor point should be let me move this up here uh and the just uh, isolate the arm again and yeah as you can see this is right where it is supposed to be the other way would be to just move the anchor point of the forearm uh, let me isolate the arm and see okay yeah this is not where it is supposed to be so it should be maybe somewhere down here okay i think this is better maybe a bit down like here okay needs to be up again right there okay great amazing and same here um again you can use the same hack that i mentioned but uh for now i'm going to uh place it i think somewhere around here i'm gonna unisolate everything and see how this moves okay i think this is good this is very important we need to select that the hand the forearm and the arm that should be the order if you do it the other way around uh, you mess with your rig so uh, hand forearm arm and then click auto rig and i k and as you can see what we have here okay so our arm is rigged there are a few things here first of all do you see how these elements get separated when i move the handle uh, a bit more i can uh, untick the auto stretch from here uh also i can just click this one and uh, make sure it's not reversed so this is how it bends and then from here i am going to hide all these uh, layers that i already rigged so now i'm going to basically repeat the same process with the other arm remember first change your anchor point next click r on your keyboard start rotating it to see how it works with the other part of the body that this is parented to and then we will need to rig let's speed this up i am moving the anchor points all my anchor points are uh, working they're rotating properly so again hands forearm arm and auto rig let's test this okay this is beautiful great just remember to uncheck the stretch here again hiding these two and i am going to show you how you can rig the legs basically the same exact thing i am moving the anchor point of the shoe okay uh, this is a bit extreme but otherwise it works great now the calf moving the anchor point here and the tie I need to move it down a bit more okay I think this is good and again select the shoe the calf the tie and click auto rig okay amazing it bends the other way around so just click reverse here and boom you have it okay great so uh this is the process of rigging we do it uh i uh, i won't rig this other leg because it's basically the same exact process that you can follow i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial if so make sure you like comment and share it let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and thank you so much for your time